Hi everyone, welcome to a new video. Thanks for watching again. Today we're going to be talking about baseline actions using 3D skills. Usually it's quite busy, there's a lot of defenders, there's a lot of people and it's tough to keep the ball on your stick to get a result. And today I'm going to show you a few ways in which you can do that. All right, so the first way which you can enter the D coming from the left side is, is if you have no vision and you're still with your body behind the ball, you have a, you have a few options. Wh whether you want to go around or if you want to try and get a PC, doesn't matter. But the first way we can do is we can enter the D and we can choose to start lifting the ball and then continue with one hand or two. So if you're dribbling like this, the defender is about to arrive, you can lift the ball and then from here, you can keep lifting down the line and maybe even choose to go with one hand and then try and work your way into the D. All right, so the second option is moving our body a little bit more around the ball. It's a little bit different than the first one because now I have vision and I can look at the defender. And what I can do is I can flip my feet around and from here, I can either choose to lift the ball like that over a stick and then continue my run. Or what I can do is I can come this way and I can use the famous old chop around over the stick. And then from here, maybe do it again or from here, move inside. So that's the second move. So if we go to the other side of the field and we look on the right side, our options change a little bit, but it comes down to the same thing. What we're trying to do is we're going to try and threaten to go inside. I'm going to go around and try and use lifting the ball to get further and further up the field, either having the defender to make a tackle so we can get a penalty corner or look for a better pass or maybe even score ourselves. So one of the first options we have is what we're trying to do is we're trying to create a bit of space over the left foot of the defender about one stick space to go around and try and lift. So the defender either needs to go like this or that he needs to go like this. If he goes like this, his feet are exposed. And if he puts his hand down, then if you lift and you, you can pass him quite easy. So what we do is if you go inside the D, you actually try and do as if you go this way and then you pull it to the sideline or to the back line. And from here, you lift the ball and you should be able to continue your run. All right, so what we're actually trying to do is when we're entering the D, we want to try and do as if we're going back, allowing the defender to think, okay, I have to close my forehand. And then what you do is you pull it as far as you can to the baseline. And from here, you bring the lift. If you lift far enough, the defender can't reach. And because you're on the front foot and they're on the back foot, you can speed up and beat the defender. Looks like this. All right, guys, thanks for watching. There's three ways in which you can beat the defenders over the baseline using aerial dribbles. Uh, I hope you liked that video. Uh, make sure you leave a comment if you want to ask me something uh, or send me a message. Make sure you subscribe and uh, see you guys next week. Bye-bye.